It sucks is first and foremost. We're going to start with Venom, Let There Be Carnage. From what I understand, there is not enough carnage in this. There's not enough movie in this. Uh, First off, I've seen this two weeks ago. I've already forgotten everything. Uh, It is one hour and 26 minutes. Yeah, it sucks is first and foremost. Uh, Venom 1 was watchable for me. A lot of people didn't like it. Did not like Venom. This movie is a step backwards in almost every way possible. Uh, is it a repeat of Venom 1 in some ways? Uh, n- That's what I heard. Is they just rehash the first movie on some level? Because they like, do, do they, don't they want to be with each other? Oh, that's, yeah, the entire movie. It's not a Venom movie. It's a fucking buddy comedy romantic, like, I, it's weird. There's a no, gay romantic comedy. It's basically a gay romantic comedy. Yeah, it is. Mm-hmm. I'm kind of surprised the tomato meter is 64% and audience score is 84%. How the hell is that 84%? They just want to see something like... They, people who like Venom like Venom, and they just... It's not Venom, though. In it's no not way Venom. is this mo- movie Venom. Yeah, as, as I explained as a comic book historian that I am, I explained to Noob Noob what Venom is, and it is he, you are not seeing the actual Venom. Especially since there's no Spider-Man, but post credit scene, I guess everybody knows at this point. Yes, the post credit scene was the best part of the movie. But it's dumb. Like, it's just a rehash, like, it's just a rehash of what you've already, like, you've already seen that, and then Venom's involved. Like, who cares? Yeah, what, what And there's no the- reason for them to be involved. The whole purpose between the Venom and Spider-Man conflict is there's actual like a reason for them to not like each other? Yeah, there's no yeah, there's no animosity. They were rivals both in the human world and Venom the symbiote costume was also a rival of Spider-Man. So there's three people who, who like don't like each other. But they they don't even know who each other are in this. So how can they possibly have any sort of story? It doesn't make any sense. Yeah. So the critic consensus says a sequel aimed squarely at fans of the original's odd couple chemistry, Venom, Let There Be Carnage, eagerly embraces the franchise's sillier side. Awesome. And the audience says with tons of action, fun fight scenes, plenty of comedy, Venom, Let There Be Carnage gives fans everything they'll be looking for plus a can't miss post credit surprise so basically the post credit surprise was the only accurate part of that because there's it's less funny than the first one there's less good action it's like shittily put ah, okay the action might be a little bit better because can you decipher the difference between the two symbiotes when they fight a little bit a little bit better than rioting and venom fighting Carnage and Venom don't even necessarily hate each other in the comic book, so I don't really understand what this is all about. Yeah, it's a shittily, haphazard, fast-paced, frenetic movie that makes no sense. Shriek is fucking useless. Woody Harrelson looks weird as shit. Mm. Uh, The only reason I didn't walk out of the movie is because Tom Hardy is in it. So if Tom Hardy wasn't the star, you'd be like, no thanks. Uh, Yeah, if it was just some random dude, I'd be like, this... Watching it, I was actively saying this movie is uncomfortably shitty. Wow. Yeah. That's pretty. And you love everything. I do. So this is that's. Disturbing. I'm torn though because I have the first Venom, so I feel like I need to buy the second one to complete <laughs> the connection. Well, all right then. Yeah.